Tuesday is running day. Uh, how are the backs looking? How's the run blocking looking? Oh, it's going good. You know, Tuesday's our favorite day. You know, Tuesday's the hardest day, but like you said, it's run day. So we really work a lot of the run schemes. And what I'm happy about is we finally get a game plan. You know, camp's great and it's, it's good to get better, but I love the game plan and watch the opponent I'm watching and watch their scheme of defense and kind of how we're, our, we're going to put our scheme against them. So, yeah, the running backs are good. They're cutting well. Uh, all lines blocking well. You know, like with the experience of all of us with the running backs and us, we're really feeling it out feeling out good with Colgate they run a 3-4 defense so uh, we feel good and we're blocking well and and yeah it's it feels good oh, a 3-4 I forgot then actually so you'll have a guy right in your grill is that uh, yeah. different as opposed to you know being in a gap as opposed to yeah a guy it, right in your face? it's a little different it's a little bit more physical for me you know usually center gets a little bit more double teams and everything but with the 3-4 I'm a little bit more man on man a little bit which you don't see too too often and they kind of play a two-gap nose, so essentially what that means is he's reading my feet and he wants to play both gaps, kind of. So it's really kind of a man-on-man -man for me, but we still get those double teams in. But, but yeah, so I'll have the guy in my, in my face, and then they'll have two bigger defensive ends on the tackles, maybe on the guards with overhang linebackers, like a pass-rushing linebacker. It's kind of incumbent on the offensive line as the running back to make play action work. Right. Just what does play action do for Phil, and how do you, you know, make that... Yeah, play, something defenses have to worry about. Play action is is awesome, and that's what we really emphasize today too, because we do a little bit of play action today with the run to kind of mix in the schemes, and it, and it means everything. Because if we're running, we're coming off the ball, and we're blowing those D linemen up, or we're running, making those linebackers trigger downhill, and the running back selling the fake, and even when he is getting the ball, he's hitting those holes hard, so the linebackers get to come meet him in the hole, and he's selling that fake. It brings them down, and it opens up all the all the crossing routes and all the top routes or whatever routes Coach Signetti's got going on. I'm not a big route guy, but it really opens up the playbook for us because then we can run and then you throw the play action and then they're worried about the play action. So then you can really get those double teams because now they're sitting far, more far back. And so it all it all uh, mixes and matches together, but it, it's a big part of our scheme. So I'm, I'm excited for, for running the ball, really. Alex, now that fellow students are back, right. what's this feel like knowing you'll have people in the building? Yeah, you know, that's, it, it, I'm so excited. I've talked to a bunch of my friends at BC that aren't football guys and even on the football guys. So I'm super excited to have fans. You know, it's been almost two years since we've had fans at the game. So I'm super excited. And then seeing everyone on campus is awesome. You know, you're in camp and it's just the guys and you're just walking. You see nobody other than the buildings, you know, and that can get kind of boring sometimes. But seeing the kids around and, and all the other students and even just the, just everybody, the faculty and everything is awesome. It's a great feeling. And then knowing that in, in four days, I'm going to be out there playing in front of everyone. My family's coming. Uh, all the students are going to be there. I'm sure alumni is going to be going crazy with everyone coming back. So it's it's an awesome feeling, and it kind of feels like football again. You know, last year was a little weird with, with nobody in the stands, but it, it's, it's going to be a good feeling. I'm excited to see everyone there. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. We're just talking about the depth chart with Coach, and there's a ton of freshmen out there. What have you seen from the younger guys that there's a fresh group? Yeah, you know, the, fr the freshmen came in, even the mid-years in the spring, like Drew Donovan plays DN, those guys came in with, with the right mindset, right attitude. You know, I was a mid-year, and, and uh, same thing. They just came in with a mindset that they're going to work, work their uh, butts off and they're going to do really well. And then it shows, and then they came in this, this camp, they, you know, they had a semester under their belt with the scheme, and, and they really pushed hard and... and and worked hard and, and made plays, you know, that's how you get on the field, you make plays and coach is going to play the best guys. So I think they did a really good job of, of taking our culture in, working hard and and really just trying to do more and, and, and get more. And like you said, there's I think there's like 10 or 11 freshmen on there. And then even the younger guys like Ozzy, like Finn, like Jack Conley and the O-line group especially, because that's what I watch a lot. Those guys, even though it's their second year, those guys have taken a huge step. You watch the film from last year to this year, they've taken a huge step. So it's not like it's just five guys. We got eight guys that can go, you know, and they're big, big, huge dudes. So uh, it, them and the redshirt freshmen have really taken a step and they really took the right mindset this year. So it's awesome to see the younger guys really stepping up and being accountable. Is Drew Kendall your project? Yeah, he is, you know. So coach coach gave us a, like a mentor kind of thing. Um, so I'm, take, I'm taking care of Drew, obviously, because he's a freshman, he plays center. But yeah, he is, He I kind of treat him like, like my little, my, my little, like student kind of, you know, because he, he's a Massachusetts guy, so we got that. We work, out, we work out at the same place at EPS down the road in Foxborough, so that's how I met him, and, and he's a great kid and he wants to get better. And I kind of see myself 
in him. You know, he's a he came in smaller guy, works hard, and he always finishes to the whistle. Very smart. You know, and you need to be very smart to play center. So he really does a great job with that. And then. I teach him some techniques here and there, you know, because coach is coaching everybody, so I'll give him some little things, and, and he does really well with that. And and like I said, I think he's going to do an outstanding job. He's going to have an outstanding career here. But yeah, I I really take it upon myself to make sure that I can coach him up and make him better every way I can.